Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. Today, we are talking about how to properly hang your wedding dress and bridesmaid dress so it does not get damaged or ruined before the wedding and even after the wedding. Before we dive into this topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below, let me know if there's any topics that you'd like me to create a video on for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. For daily content, please be sure to follow at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert on Instagram. The way your wedding dress is being hung up or stored can really affect and damage your dress. So first things first, let's talk about how to properly hang up your dress. So if you have a strapless gown, you are going to have inner straps just like I have here on my top. This inner strap right here is where you would hang the dress from. And if you have a dress with a strap like my top here, you would hang it from the inner strap as well. You want to avoid hanging anything on an actual strap for many reasons. If you are hanging it on the actual strap and not the inner strap, you are stretching out the sleeves or strap because the weight of the gown is all on the straps. So if your seamstress has altered your strap to fit you because every single bride has a different proportion from the top of their dress to their shoulder, we oftentimes need to adjust the way the strap fits you. If you are hanging the dress from the strap, you are just stretching it out so that properly altered strap is no longer properly altered. It has expanded. So you definitely always wanna hang from those inner straps just like I showed you. Another thing that you want to consider here is perhaps your dress is a little transparent on the top or the inner strap is a darker color or has writing on it of the designer name that's very common and that might show through the side of your dress. You'll definitely want to cut them for wedding day, however, save them because when it's time to hang the dress back up after the wedding, you are not going to have those inner straps there. So I recommend you save them and have a really strong safety pins so you're able to safety pin it from where the armpit would be, that side seam would be of the dress, so you're able to hang it back up after the wedding. If you happen to throw them away, they get lost, no big deal, just don't hang your dress. Put it in the garment bag and lay it down. Oftentimes, dress manufacturers don't put it right at the armpit, they actually put it farther down by the almost like the waistline is where they sew it and it goes all the way up. If a designer does not put it at the top and puts it down below, that's because it means this corset area at the top is most likely see-through. So they put it at the bottom and then they make it longer so it can go all the way up. The one thing to be cautious of here, if there is any boning, so if you feel any plastic along the side, boning is like a plastic-like material that's in the bodice of the dress to help manipulate its structure. If the hanging strap is attached at the waist and not at the armpit, what often happens is when you hang from the bottom, the weight is pulling and the boning doesn't arc. Right? So if this is the armpit of the dress, this is the waist of it. If it's pulling from here, all of a sudden the boning tilts because the weight of the dress is being pulled up from this point. That being said, ask your seamstress to tack, so if it's sewn down here, to also tack it at the armpit so that it is hanging from the top of the dress and the weight is just falling down. So that being said, you always want it to be hung from the armpit area, the very tip top of the dress, not lower at the waist because the weight is going to be distributed from that point that the inner straps are attached at. I know this may seem more complicated and in depth than you had imagined, but this is why this video is so valuable because the way in which you hang and store your dress and those straps that you cut out 
on wedding day to wear it. It really does affect the way in which you can hang it after the fact. Now, naturally, of course, this works for a bridal gown or a bridesmaid's dress equally the same. Everything I'm saying is universal to both dresses and perhaps even an evening gown that you may be wearing out to an event. So this is definitely information that can be applied to any form of article of clothing that you're wearing. Anytime you're hanging it from the straps, it's stretching it out. But people often don't consider that because the weight of wedding dresses and the weight of a full length gown versus your shirts that you wear on a daily basis do shift and people don't often consider that or think about that. Now, if you have a gown that doesn't have a structured strap, we spoke about strapless, we spoke about a dress that has a strap or a sleeve. The one thing that I didn't touch on is an illusion neckline. So an illusion neckline is a dress that just has a very delicate tool that's supposed to look like it's just your skin. So it's transparent and that's what we refer to as an illusion neckline. For dresses that maybe have an illusion neckline or an off the shoulder, you, you will be hanging it from the inner straps, but I would not put any weight on the illusion because that fabric is so delicate and can stretch very, very easily. So what I typically do is I hang it from the armpit area where those inner straps are, and I let the top of the dress flop over and just sort of hang that way. Definitely pay attention to if that may be stretching, like if you have a V-neck and you have an illusion in the center, and if it happens to be stretching that area, then you can always add like a little string that's on that inner armpit. You could add that in to, you could literally pin it from one side to the other to manipulate the fabric to be a little, to take that pressure off. Do you kind of see what I'm doing to my top? Just right now, it's an open V. If I took a piece of fabric from here to here, like the string, let me show you. If I were to put the string from one side and take it over to the other, that and pin it or lightly sew it from the inside, it'll take the pressure off of expanding that V illusion tool from stretching and fraying. If your illusion happens to kind of fray and look like it's been touched a lot, your seamstress can give it a fresh cut to make it lay completely flat against your chest. Be super careful when you are zipping up your garment bag so that none of the material gets caught in the zipper. That happens frequently, so oftentimes what I recommend if there's a dress that I feel like may get caught, you can put your hand in between the dress and the zipper as you zip up and zip alongside so your hand is a barrier. Now when you go zip down, you'll wanna do the same thing, or you could put a plastic garment bag over your dress and then zip up on top of that plastic so the plastic becomes the barrier and you don't get anything caught. One last thing to consider about storing your gown and hanging it as you prepare for wedding day, along with also traveling with it. You, if you have a train, typically designers put a loop, just like that's at the top of the dress that we discussed. Your designers will put a loop at the bottom of the train where you can take that loop. A lot of people think that that loop is to go around your wrist. It is not, that's not what it was meant for. It is meant to hang the train at the top of your hanger so that the train isn't gathered at the bottom of your garment bag wrinkling. It actually drapes up so that both pieces are draped evenly and nothing's hanging and bunching at the bottom of your bag. So people who would put it around their wrist and think that's what you're, what it's supposed to be for, it's not. That's just something that's evolved over the years and people had done instead of getting a bustle done to your dress. I hope that you found these tips valuable and super helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.